Look at that elbow pad Everybody way down there. The See if the ref picks up on that. <laughs> Touch gloves come out fine. Yeah. Sneaky little trick. It's a wristband right now. Dan fought in the um, eight-man tournament last year. He lost, actually, against another can Canadian. Very, very tough opponent. That's yeah, so what I said. Those Canadians are tough. Yeah, so, but he's used to, you know, he's fought in a tournament before, so he kind of knows what to prepare for. I like how composed he is. Last time I saw him fight, he was just picking the guy apart. He's got good, strong kicks, good, good boxing. I don't know much about John. All right, he's so looking for an elbow. I don't know the gym he comes from. They put out quality fighters. Nice knee there. Looking for the plumb position. John turning his back. The referee breaks him up. Dan evades that. John comes with some punches right away. And body position, you know, chest to chest. Nobody really has much space for a knee, so they've got to create the space. I feel like John's trying to clinch too hard. They're trying to, you know, wasted a lot of energy there. He's bringing his hips in tight. Right. He's almost kind of running him against the wall. I could. And Dan has 17 fights, uh, 17 wins and, and six losses. John has only six wins and, and one loss. So there's a big experience differential here. Woo! Yeah, Jason, when you've got somebody fighting someone who's just got so much more uh, ring, you know, experience, what do you say to them? How do you get them ready to, to, to fight you someone like that? You've got to be you. You, you, you don't want to try to fight their game. You want to get in and fight with, you know, sometimes the less experienced guy will, will go for it a little more. And he kind of, like he's doing right here, where, where a guy with only seven fights, he's, you got to go get them. you, you got to kind of use that inexperience and, and kind of get inside their head. Yeah, just have enough faith because in yourself and your sometimes abilities. Sometimes the experienced guy will try to settle into the fight. And he'll try to slow it down and make you fight his pace because he knows he's more experienced and maybe he's almost looking for a, you know, the perfect shot or the perfect kick and, and that can kind of go against him. And shots, but he's got to be active on so him. So like, not let Dan like right set there. anything See? up. See, kind of hesitated a little bit. He's, he's pausing right there. He's got to get going. He's got to get on him. He's almost like he's he's, he's doubting himself. You right. can see him kind of get going, and then he kind of stops and hesitates. Yeah, and Dan he, is and also he, staying yeah. very busy in the clinch as and, well. And Dan is so relaxed. And, and if you kind of fall into that trap of, 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 of respecting your opponent and, and letting him dictate the pace, it's going to be a long night for you. You can see it here. He's sure. He kind of waits right there, and he, and he, and he kind of waits to see what Dan's going to do before he throws. He's, there's a big elbow there landed by John Pena in that exchange. And right now he's kind of fighting just on emotion. He's just kind of like, you can see how tense he is. He's, right. he's wanting the clinch, but he's not really sure how to do it. Well, the way that, that Dan is sort of tying uh, John up, he doesn't allow but him to But look to at their body in, language right here. Look, look, look at the way Dan steps away, relaxed and calm. And John's kind of got that, like, that urgency of, i, I got to get I've gotta going. Go. I've got to go. i got to go, but I don't really know how to go. You know, he's, he, he wants to do it. He's got the intensity, but he just... And Dan is also throwing uh, and there more he goes. than he, one shot. Well, he threw a combination, then he jumped out. You know, he's and a spinning hook kick lands just on the glove of Dan. That was a nice. Whoa, that was. He was going to like a fake in to kick, but also sweep. But it, he he didn't get it. Nice spinning elbow there that See, lands by Dan. That's nice and all, but I think what he was doing before was a lot more effective. He waits, he blocks a couple shots, and he lets it go. So you can see here that Dan's corner is, is calling for those elbows. So John's got to jump right back on him. He's got to go right now. He's now he's, like, he's, yep, he's waiting a little bit. He's waiting for the other guy to get off. He's got to. Oh, he hasn't he really slips. found his range, and, he, and I feel like he's having a. And that ends the second round. Oh, definitely setting the pace. Okay, guys, this is the last round of the corner finals. We've We've got to see who moves on here. 
Tankachenko, oh, nice spinning elbow that happens there by John Pena. John Pena really going for it, knowing that he has to win this round to move forward. He's bringing it, that's for sure. How are you seeing this so far, Jason? I, I definitely I definitely see Dan winning this fight. Um, like I said, John's definitely game, and he's, and he's bringing it. But you can see there, he just, he's getting caught with shots because he's, he's a little bit too excited. Yes, and again, the winner of this fight moves on to the semifinals and will be fighting Powell. I think Dan and Powell are going to be a great fight, if that's what, what it comes to be. But you never know. John can land a shot. And he, like I said, he, he, he's, he's bringing it. He's, he's going for it. You see Dan you know, taking some a heavy, deep breaths here. You know, he's just... That's nice. Enough. I wish you would have found that a little earlier. Block and return. A leg kick lands by Dan in that exchange. Yeah, see, he just kind of walks in and he's like, I'm not really quite sure what to throw there. I want to throw something, but I'm just, just kind of lost. Right. You know, that's not a knock on the kick. Sometimes nerves get in the way. And, you know, I've had many fights where I've watched them before, you know, after I've fought. And I'm like, what was I doing? What was I thinking? And Wait, you just think it's like he's, he's nervous, so he's yeah, not setting just, things up. But tournaments get to you, too. Nice you, know, you don't know who you're fighting, so it's... Okay, I gotta fight this kid. He's got a lot of fights, and that might get in your head. You might start thinking a lot of thoughts. And oh, nice right hand lands. He also seems a bit off balance, uh, which kind of stops the ability to land accurately. You know, Dan kind of covers and returns, throws definitely. the overhand right. Definitely does. I like his good. He's got a good left kick too. Except you see that right nice there, knee. he does go straight back. If someone's got good hands, they can take advantage of that. Right. But. And that ends the third and final round between John Pena and Dan Kachenko. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout moves on to the semifinals. They'll be taking on Powell. So I know, uh, you know, Jason, you were saying about composure. Do you think that has a lot to do with the fact that um, Dan just, just has way more fights? Yeah, I, think so. I think so. I think it has a lot to do with it. He's been in there with it, different styles. And he knows how to kind of control himself, keep his emotions under control. You know, do you think he, that he took a lot of damage in this particular fight? No, I, I don't think he did at all. I think he's, I think he's still pretty fresh mm -hmm. for the for the for the semifinal, which which is going to make it exciting because it doesn't look like Powell took too much damage either. He was tying him up, clinching him, and kind of kind of beating him down that way. So I don't think he took a lot of damage. So I think they're both pretty fresh. Now on the other side, I think uh, Remy had probably the toughest fight of the night so far. Oh yeah, and that was the uh, the the elbow fight. <laughs> you know, definitely was. So that's, that's swelling. That's a, that's a fun. I mean, that's a, that's a tough fight to recover from. Yeah, definitely. And both fighters showing respect to their opponent's corners. That's the nice thing about this. Everybody, you know, they, they do it for fun. Even if you do turn pro, there's not a lot of money involved in this. So yeah. you really got to love the sport. And that's why you do it. And, and it comes out when they fight. You, know, you, you, you see they're passionate about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. After three rounds of action, we have a winner by majority decision. Majority decision. Judge A sees this 28-29 for the blue corner. Judge B sees this 29-28 for the red corner. So I think it's a split decision. And Judge C sees this fight in favor of the man moving on to the semifinals from Ontario, Canada, Dan Cajego. Yeah, it's just, you know, we saw it that way because Dan seemed to